Hello and welcome to a new player review. Today we're going to have a look at a, another player from the Shape Shifters promo, uh, which is going to be the right back, um, his name Hans Hattebor from Atalanta. Um, a nice card. Uh, this is uh, an upgrade from his base 77 gold, which is a right mid, and we get a version of him in a right back. Now, this is a very important right back since uh, Syria doesn't have any good right backs on the market. Uh, we had two or three special cards, I think three, um, that were SBCs, uh, but they're not uh, any on the market for you to buy. So if you missed out on the SBCs, you don't really have any options. Uh, we had that uh, Danilo from Season Objectives. We had uh, Fitness Malqui, and we had another card. Oh yeah, we had that uh, Juan Cuadrado. Um, changed uh, position to a right back. I think it was some sort of UCL SBC or something like that. So basically those are the three good right backs in the Serie A, but none of them are available. So we have a new available right back on the market. Uh, let's have a look. I bought him for 170,000. So that's where his price is at the moment, somewhere around 170, 180. Um, he's 187, so he's 6'2", uh, really, really tall for a fullback. Uh, medium high work rates, which is really really nice for a fullback since we don't really see that the most common work rates for a uh, Right back or a left back will be high medium um, Reversed so this is really nice if you want uh, a defensive fullback. We suspect everybody he wants uh, or most um, And this is actually his work rates on his right mid card, which doesn't really make any sense but uh, he's right footed with uh, three star skills and two star weak foot now that's a bit of an issue there with a two-star weak foot, but we'll see how that affects him. Uh, like I said, it's an upgrade from his base 77 card, so we get about almost 50 total stats and about 200 in-game stats. Um, we get overall pace 90 with acceleration 87 to 91, uh, not a good um, difference there. Uh, we always want acceleration higher than sprint speed. Uh, I bought this card and already had an anchor. I'm not sure if the anchor is the best chem style. But with the anchor, acceleration goes to 92 and sprint speed to 96, so uh, it's a lot better. I think at this point in the game, your fullback should have over 90 um, overall pace. And by that, I mean they should have acceleration and sprint speed over 90, not the overall 90 that EA gives you. Uh, shooting, overall 66, no shooting whatsoever. Good attack positioning, but very low finishing with all right shot power, so realistically, nothing really that you can do with this guy in terms of scoring any goals. Uh, passing is good, but not good enough for a fullback. You want your passing to be higher than that. Uh, overall 79 with vision 75, crossing 88, uh, short pass 86, long pass 79, and curved uh, 56. So vision is a bit low and curve is really low. So I don't know how many uh, curved or fancy passes you can do with, with this guy. But direct short passes or long passes should be all right. And also his crossing. Uh, dribbling overall 84, agility 75 and balance 78, reactions 84, ball control 85, dribbling 86 and composure 77. It looks okay. Um, agility and balance is a bit on the um, mediocre, but I think should be okay for him. Uh, defending is overall 86, interceptions 80 to 85, heading 87 to 97, defensive awareness 84 to 94, standing tackle 89 to 99, and slide tackle 88 to 98. Um, physical overall 85, jumping 83 to 93, stamina 97, which is really, really nice. Uh, strength 80 to 85, so he's really tall and he's really strong as well, with good aggression at 82 to 92. So this is why I don't think Anchor is a good chem style. Um, he already has uh, good uh, physicals, uh, you don't need more jumping, he's really tall 6'2", so that with the 83 jumping, uh, his base 83 is already enough, so that plus 10 there is wasted in my opinion. Strength is okay, the plus 5, but already at 80, I believe it should be enough for your fullback, and aggression really 82 to 92 wouldn't make a difference. So for me, those stats in the physical are don't make any difference. Uh, on the other hand, if you go with a shadow, um, you will max out his pace to 99-99. But uh, the other important thing is that you will get interceptions from uh, plus 5, you will get to plus 10. So his interceptions will go to eight, from 80 to 90. And then the other difference will be his standing tackle 
from plus 10, it will go to plus 5. So from 89, it will go to 94. So for me, it's uh, more important to get the interceptions to 90 than to get the standing tackle to 99 and also get that pace up all the way to 99. Uh, because he's a big tall guy you want him as fast as possible and like I said those physical attributes I think uh, go to waste so with that in mind we'll go into a couple of games I think I'll play the first game as it is with this anchor camp style at bottom and then um, if we see something that uh, we don't like and then in the second game I'll probably change his camp style to maybe a shadow and see if we see uh, if we get any difference there uh, but for these games we won't go into the usual foot champions games I will go into the division rivals as I'm also trying to do some of the Acuna objectives, so trying to kill two birds with one stone here. So let's take this guy into a couple games and check him out. Okay, so here we go with our first opponent. Really nice team full of special cards and icons and Ronaldo in the middle. So, good team. Really, really nice. Upgraded Politano as well. So we're going to go into this game in the 4-2-3-1 formation and we're going to try out uh, Shapeshifters, Hatbor in the right back position. Good, nice, again. Oh, what a goal by the baller. There we go. Excellent ball. And the other. What a goal. So, have more. Not really fast. Oh, still can make it, door. Come on, check it out. Nice, good dribbles. Come all the way in. The pass, no, messed up the pass. Oh, he gets it back. No, he's gone. So, um, he didn't get that many touches. What was it? One or two passes, two or four dribbles. Uh, but the first uh, time I got the ball and started running with him, he really felt slow. So, um, one or two passes, two and four dribbles, not good completion, although at the end there I knew my opponent was going to quit, that's why I uh, got him and run, ran with him, just to check him out a bit. So what I did find out, like I said, is that he does feel slow, um, so uh, we're going to go into another game obviously, but this time I'm going to put a shadow on him uh, before we go into that game. Okay, so here he is with the shadow before we go into the game. Like I told you, we're going to max out his uh, pace with 99-99 and we get the plus 10 in interceptions instead of plus 5 with the anchor and uh, plus 5 in standing tackle instead of plus 10. So what that does is gets everything at 90 and above um, and interceptions at 90 is more important to me than standing tackle from 94 to 95. Plus we need to get that acceleration really high because like I said, it felt really slow. Uh, I don't think we'll miss anything on physical. So let's go into another game. So here we go with our second game. Um, I don't know what this is. La Liga, Prem, Liga, everything. So uh, we're going to go into this game in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, we're going to try out uh, Shapeshifters Hatibor. This time we applied a shadow and I also took off his stay back instructions. Uh, so we're going to play him on balance to see how his uh, high defensive uh, work rates apply in game. Right, let's see, let's get the first thoughts and see if he is faster. Maybe yes. There's a big difference right now with acceleration to his sprint speed. Pass, shoot, lock. Oh yeah, I can tell the difference. Again, there he goes. He does attack, nice. Good stop. There's, yes, keeps the ball, nice. Turn. Bring it back again. The pass, yes, the ball, no. Yes, he does stay up. So maybe cross. No, that was a terrible cross. There he is. He's staying way up though. I thought it was kind of weird. Shoot. Yes, the ball. The score one nil. Like. There he is, he's still coming up. What? <laughs> Fantastic game. Oh, 
Nice. Nice, nice. So there's the space. Shoot. Oh my god, I was just saving that. Shoot. There we go. Two one. And he's gone right away. Alright. A lot of rage quits today and division rivals. I don't know what's happening. Uh, so, um, we got a lot of touches on how to board this time. Um, right away from the first touch, I could tell the difference in the speed. Um, as you can see, he gets 7.5. It's going to be almost the highest rated. Uh, no goals, no assists, of course, no shots. Uh, 7 on 8 passes, 6 on 7 dribbles, 1 failed cross, no tackles. Uh, but the important thing is that uh, he feels really, really fast uh, as it is right now on the ball. Um, so uh, that's a lot better than the anchor cam style. Uh, let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have shapeshifters Hans Hattebor from Atalanta. Um, a nice um, right back, uh, like I said at the beginning, for a league that doesn't have any right backs, uh, good right backs on the market. Uh, we bought this card for 170. I suspect this price is going to stay somewhere around there, maybe drop to 150, something like that, since. Uh, it has the uh, it's the only available right back as a special card for um, uh, Syria and also because of the uh, hard link uh, the strong link it gives to Papa Gomez uh, which uh, that card is looking to be getting already got an upgrade so maybe a lot of people will want this right back to give that strong link to Papa Gomez as he will probably maybe reappear in maybe uh, some teams uh, apart from that, uh, like I said at the beginning, uh, the anchor is not the Kim style for this guy. He feels really slow. Uh, and with the shadow right away, I felt a big difference. Um, as soon as he got the ball, he feels really rapid, obviously, because he's at 99 acceleration. Like I said, with the shadow, you're missing out on a few points. Out of uh, total uh, 25... Uh, is, it 20, is it 25? Yeah, 15 and 10. 25 available points, you get 20. So you're missing out on 20% of the available pace points, which is fine for me. That 80% maxes out this guy to 99 and it applies in game and he feels really fast. His interceptions are much better at 90 than at 85. The rest of his defending as his marking, his tackle, his standing tackle and slide tackle are already great. You don't need the points in physical. He's really strong. That pair with his height at 6'2", he has a big built uh, so he's really strong and really good to push in for the ball or not be pushed around when he has the ball. His aggression is high as well, really really good stamina, almost maxed out so you can run this guy as much as you want, especially applying the shadow, he's going to feel really really fast. And his jumping uh, and his heading accuracy is really um, high, paired with his height at 6'2", you don't need any more. So it's either going to be a shadow or maybe a backbone or I don't know, uh, defending and passing or defending and dribbling. But for me, the pace is very important on this guy because he's uh, like a really tall guy. Uh, unless you max out his pace, he won't feel uh, fast. Now, also in the second game, we played him with no instructions since he's uh, medium attacking, high defensive work rates. So I took off the stay back while attacking and I played him on balance. Um, and it was good. At the defense, he was uh, holding the line with the defenders. And as soon as we go, we will go on an attack. He will uh, overlap uh, and make the run. I feel that this is a right back that you can play him like this. Is he's ideal for that because of his work rates? He's going to track back really fast, especially if you apply the shadow. He's going to be really fast in joining the attack and also really fast in and coming back. So I really like this card. I think it's a really really nice card, especially for Syria that lacks uh, right backs. And at somewhere around 150k, I would say this is a really nice card to get in your team. So this is going to be it for this review. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.